Hello bass players, Stephen Cox here. I'm going to teach you how to play heart and soul in a two-handed tapping fashion on the electric bass guitar. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to play with just our left hand. We're not plucking with the right hand today. So the left hand is going to play the third fret on the A string and you're going to hit that note by just applying pressure. Okay? And basically every note in the song is going to be done this way rather it's on the right hand or the left hand. Okay? So as you might notice, I'm hitting the third fret on the A string, but to those four stringers, this is the fifth string that we're adding, okay? So this is a five string bass. Just disregard this string. We're not using it at all today. Okay. So after you play the third fret on the A string, the next note is going to be the fifth fret on the E string. The third note is going to be the first fret on the E string. And the last note of this pattern is going to be the third fret on the E string. So once again, third on the A, fifth on the E, first on the E, third on the E. Okay, but in the intro, we're going to play two notes on each, on each note. So two times on each note. And then once we get started with the melody, um, you're just going to play half notes and you're just going to play each one of those one time. Okay? So that's all the left hand does throughout the whole entire song. So on to the right hand. The right hand in the intro is playing chords. So the first chord that you're going to do, and what I do is I use my middle finger and my ring finger, you're going to play the 10th fret on the D string with your ring finger and then you're going to play the 9th fret on the G string with your middle finger. You're going to play both those at the same time so try to apply pressure equally just kind of like swing them down like a hammer. Okay, so you get that first part. The next chord is going to be the 12th fret on the A string and the 10th fret on the D string. So both at the same time. Okay? The third chord that you're going to play is going to be the 8th fret on the A string and the 7th fret on the D string. Okay? And the last chord you're going to play is going to be the 10th fret on the A string and the 9th fret on the D string. So those are your chords, okay? So now what you're going to do here is you're going to play this on two and and four and. So if we're playing along with this hand, one and two and, okay? So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Just using those four chords that we talked about. So let's do that one more time. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and okay so now you're ready to combine the two hands for that intro part so what you're going to do is you're going to hit um, the notes that we talked about over here the third fret on the A then the fifth fret on the E the first fret on the E and the third fret on the E and then in between those you're going to play the chords we just talked about so you're going to hit two of each one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and so once again a little bit slower one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and and you do that a few times and that's the intro okay now on to the melody right now we're just going to break it down with the uh, right hand because we've already talked about the left hand so what you're going to do here is you're going to start on the 10th fret on the D string. And I'm going to break the melody up into little segments. So here's the first segment. Okay? So what you're doing there is 10, 10, 10 on the D, then 10, 9 on the D, then 12 on the A, then 
So once again, 10th mm -hmm. fret on the D, then 9th, 12th on the A, 9th, 10th, 12th on the D. Okay? So I'm going to play that really slowly. 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's the first part of the melody. Now we go on to the next part. You're going to play the um, ninth fret on the G string with your index finger. Okay? And it's going to be the same rhythmic pattern as the first segment. Here's the second segment. Okay? So once again, that's nine. Once again, very slowly. And that's the second segment. The third segment starts using um, a little more, a little bit more motion. Sorry about that. And um, what you're going to do here is you're going to hit 12 on the G and then 10 on the D. Okay. you hit that 12 and that 10, then you're going to go up to the 14th fret on the G string, okay? And you're going to hit 14, 12, 10, 9, all on the G, then you're going to hit 12, 10 on the D string. So that's that, that whole section. 2, 3, 4. Next section. Okay, so what we're doing right here is we're continuing this walk down and we're gonna go 9 on the D string, then 12 on the A, then 10 on the A. The rest of the notes are on the A string, by the way. Then 8, 7, 5. Okay. Okay, and then we're going to slide up to the 10th fret after that. So this last section is going to be right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, and 2, and 3, and 4, and 1, and 2, and 3, and 4. Okay, so that's the timing for you. And then we put it all together. So here's the melody all together a little bit slowly so you can play along. And uh, after that, we're going to work on adding the left hand to the right hand. So here's the whole melody. One, two, three, four. got the melody at this point and I've got the left hand so now the hardest part I believe of doing this for a bass player if you play piano you're ahead of the curve but for a bass player the hardest thing now is getting the coordination to combine these two parts so the first thing to do is to kind of figure out rhythmically what happens so I'm not gonna break it down quite that much you can kind of use the tabs and the sheet music to help you with that but what I am gonna do is just break down which notes are played at the same time and which notes are played just individually. So first of all, um, with the melody, we're just breaking down the melody right now, you're going to hit the first note with the right and the left hand together. Okay, so here's what the first part sounds like together. Okay, so those three notes, you're going to hit 
the third fret on the A string with your left hand right when you hit the tenth fret the first time. Then you're going to hit the tenth fret um, on the D string with your right hand once by itself. And then the third time, you're going to hit the fifth fret on the E string with your left hand at the same time as hitting the tenth fret on the D string with your right hand. So this is what we've got so far. Now, this next note is just the left hand. You're going to hit the first fret on the E string by itself. Okay? So, so far we've got this. Okay? Then the next part is going to be all on the left hand. Or, sorry, all on the right hand. All on the right hand. So far we've got this. get back up to this ninth fret on the D string with your right hand, you're going to hit the third fret on the E string at the same time. Okay? And then the next two notes are just on the right hand. And that's 10, 12 with your right hand. Okay? Then the rhythm's going to be the same and the left hand part's going to be the same for the next section. hitting those notes together and when I'm hitting the hand separately. So once again, both of these at the same time, then just the right hand by itself, then both at the same time. Sorry, but you gotta change notes. So here we go. Then the fifth fret on the E string. Okay? Now once again you hit that first fret on the E string by itself, and then we get this which is 9 on the G, 12, 10 on the D with the right hand. And then you're going to hit 12 on the D right when you hit um, the third fret on the E string. Okay? And the next part is just your um, right hand hitting 9, 10 by itself. And now we're at the um, next part of the melody, which is going to be this. So to hit those both at the same time, both hands hit the first two notes of their patterns at the same time. Okay. Okay. Then once again, that first fret on the E string just by itself. And then the right hand does 14, 12, 10. And then when it gets to the to the 9 on its descending pattern, you're going to hit the 3rd uh, fret on the E string. So, okay. Then the next note is just going to be the 12th fret on the D string. Okay. And then now this next passage, you're going to hit the 10th fret on the D string at the same time as you hit the 3rd fret on the A string, okay? So now what you're going to do is every other note of the melody is where your left hand changes. So... So, hit the notes together, then, then separate, then together, the whole thing together. I'm going to play the melody slowly for you so that you can just see how they line up together without the interruptions from uh, teaching you the individual parts. So here you go. One, two, three, four.
that's the whole entire melody. And basically what I do is I do the intro, which is the chordal part, a couple of times, maybe four to be exact. Or is it just two? Okay. Anyway, once I get through doing the intro, I do the melody, then I go back to the intro, then I go back to the melody, and I finish it out with the intro, um, and then I slow down at the end. that part and then what I'm doing at the very very end of the song is I'm hitting the chord the same chord that we start on only I'm hitting all three notes together so the left hand is hitting at the same time as the right and I'm reaching over to this side so that when I slide up this hand doesn't get in the way so basically what I'm doing at that at that end is I'm sliding all the way from the third fret on the A to the 15th fret. And I just do it as smoothly as I can. And I try to move this hand forward. So I take my thumb off the back of the neck with the right hand and move it forward so that I can get around it. So the last time around the changes ends up sounding like this. And I slide up to the 15th fret. And for those of you with a little music theory knowledge, that's an octave. I'm going from the C on the A string all the way up to the C up here still on the A string. All right. I hope this video has been helpful. And please stay tuned for future lesson videos coming at you soon. Take care.